Hey everyone, Girlmaze Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. Yes, guys, it has been a very long time since I have made a video for you guys. And if you guys saw my most recent video, which was back in February of this year, uh, you would have seen that I was basically saying goodbye here on my YouTube channel. I was going to be moving over to Twitch and just, you know, exclusively just doing live streams and that I wouldn't be making any more YouTube videos. But I don't know, something recently, lately has just made me want to come back to YouTube and I don't know, I just, I've missed it so much and I just feel like so inspired and just so creative that I feel like, I don't know, I need YouTube again. So I am back guys. I don't, I, I don't know like what this all means. I don't know, like, I don't know. Life is crazy for me. Uh, about 10 months ago, I had my son Emerson and he is the most amazing thing ever to happen to me, but also, you know, the most craziest and most stressful thing to ever happen to me as well. Uh, and so yeah, <laughs> life got really crazy. It became too hard for me to you know, uh, just take care of him and do YouTube and live stream and like just everything. It was just kind of overwhelming. And now we're kind of in a good place where, you know, there's a little bit more of a routine, a little bit more of a schedule and he's becoming a little bit easier to handle kind of, kind of, <laughs> except for the fact that he's like crawling and getting into everything now, but it's still, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, so life has just kind of settled down for me a little bit and I don't know. I just, like I said, I just feel like it's time for me to come back to YouTube, even though I said I was going to end it. And I don't know. I feel bad, you know, being wishy-washy with you guys, but I don't know. That's the life of a parent. I feel like life is just so crazy and I just kind of have to take it like one day at a time. And here we are today <laughs> back on YouTube. Um, I had been doing live streams over on Twitch, but I, for the past few months, had to take a break from that as well. I had gotten really sick back in April with a horrible cold and it like lasted for like ever, or at least it felt like forever. And then right as I was getting better, I moved like really unexpectedly. Nick and I found like the perfect apartment and we moved out and then we were focused on packing and moving and uh, unpacking and just all that craziness. And so, it's now July and I finally feel like life is becoming normal again. And yeah, it's just honestly, the past year has just been so crazy and so amazing and wonderful, but literally like I have felt so busy and just so like all over the place, but yes. So that's my little explanation of like where I've been, what I've been doing. Uh, but I'm excited to be back and I don't know, I have a lot of ideas and I kind of want to just like transition and like ease back into YouTube and not just go like full force. That way I don't burn myself out and I don't, you know, want to stop all over again. Uh, so I, um, I did this video for you guys, kind of like a present. <laughs> I built you guys this house. Uh, it's based off a of floor plan, which I will of course link down, um, in the description, the floor plan that I actually based this house off of just so you guys can reference it or I don't know if it helps you guys or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so I was like, you know what, if I'm coming back to YouTube, I have to do something like, I don't know, exciting and like. I can't just like make a video like, hey guys, I'm back. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to do something fun for you guys. And uh, so yeah, this is this house. <laughs> That's what I decided to do. Um, so I built it and decorated it. There is a decorated version and an unfurnished version as well. So you guys can decorate yourself. I personally am someone that loves to just download unfurnished houses and decorate them myself. But then I know there's a lot of you guys and even me occasionally that's like, Nah, I don't feel like decorating today. I'd rather just play my game and I'd rather have a house that, you know, is already decorated for me. Uh, so yeah, so both of those are all down in the description. All the information you guys need to download this house will also be in the description. Um, there is literally, okay, so this is like super hard for me. There is like, I think only like two or three things of custom content in this entire house. And if you guys have um, followed me along, you know, here on YouTube for a while, you guys will know that I love my custom content. And it was honestly such a struggle for me to not use my custom content, you know, couches and beds and decorations and um, oh my gosh, patterns. I missed my custom content patterns so much, but I survived and I made it through this and yeah. So basically there's, I'm pretty sure it will, of course, 
be in the description down below. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only a few things of custom content. Um, and it's even like minimal, minimal stuff that you guys could even just, you know, replace it and not have to worry about downloading the custom content. And it wouldn't really affect the house at all. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. It turned out so cute, so much better than what like I thought it was going to be. Like after I built the house and it was just like the frame and everything, I was like, this is ugly. I hate this so much. And I was like going to give up and then redo it or like do a different floor plan or something. But then I was like, no, Brittany, like you already built this. You don't really have the time to just like go and, you know, build 20 million houses. Uh, and so I just kept working with it and then I eventually got to a place where like I felt like it looked really good <laughs> um, So yeah, it has like this really interesting um, like angular Roof part sticking out kind of like a dormer, but not exactly um, And so that was what was really throwing me off. I think uh, I really like how it turned out like I feel like it turned out so much cuter than I was expecting um, and I was also originally I was like, okay, I'm gonna build a house for them like this is gonna be so fun So exciting. I was like, I'll just do a cute simple like starter home And then I found this floor plan and I was like, oh, this is a starter home This will work and then like I started building it and I was like, oh, this is like a family home like <laughs> This is not a starter home Brittany uh, But yeah, so I could I just committed to it. I was like, you know what? Family homes are you know so much more useful I feel like in the Sims 3 especially if you're like a family oriented uh, game game player like me game player is that yeah sure we'll go with that um, but yeah so for me I'm always needing bigger houses for my sims and a place for them to have a lot of like activities to do and stuff like that uh, so this house kind of you know is like that there's a lot of like kid stuff out in the back um, it is furnished for six sims so two adults uh, so there's like a master bedroom and then there's also a teenage boy room, which of course you can change and make it a girl room or boy room or it's, it's I mean, it's not super boyish, like it could be very gender neutral. Um, so there's like a teen room and then there is a kids room, which I did go like super girly on and it has two beds in it. So uh, you can have maybe like a little older girl and then like a smaller, like younger child girl or you could have two children or twins or I don't know, uh, but it's just for two girls. Um, and it's super cute. I actually really like how it turned out. I just went like super girly, like just <laughs> flowers and unicorns and like all the good stuff, you know? Um, and then there is in the master bedroom, there's like this like little nook area for a toddler or a baby. Uh, and that part is like gender neutral. I didn't go super girly. I didn't go super boyish. I made it so like, you know, whatever your Sims have, it can work. Um, so yeah, so I was surprised I was able to fit like that many sims in this house uh, But I think it works like I feel like it works out pretty well uh, And I don't know this house was a lot uh, More different than houses I've built in the past and I try to do that a lot like when I am building which by the way guys I am not built in forever. So like I felt like I had to relearn like how to just build in general or like how to do anything and I have like the attached garage there I had to look up a, t a tutorial for CFE uh, or constrained floor elevation I was like I don't remember how to do this <laughs> like it has been so long um, I have been playing my game of course for the past 10 months or so um, and of course duh because I was live streaming um, so yeah I do have like my current households I still play which if you guys um, have been around for a while you guys know about my current households which oh my gosh like oh, they have expanded they're like in generation three like that's a whole like another video um, but yeah so but in my gameplay I normally already have houses built or um, already like saved in my library that I've been saving for them that are already built and decorated and all that good stuff uh, and so I was like, you know what, like I have not built in so long. And so it was, <laughs> there was a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know, I had just a bunch of fun with this house and I don't know, I just really like how it turned out. Um, I did do a little bit like a main kind of color theme throughout the house, which I don't normally do like at all. Actually, like normally my houses are very like neutral colored, a lot of whites and blacks and grays and creams and stuff like that. But this house, you guys would be so proud of me. Uh, I actually like stepped out of my comfort zone and did quite a bit of color, <laughs> lots of pops of color here and there. Uh, and so, yeah, that was kind of fun though. It was fun to kind of step out of my comfort zone and mix it up a bit and just be creative and have fun with it. Even though I didn't have my custom content patterns, which was honestly such a struggle, like, <laughs> 
such a struggle. Uh, I cannot live without my custom content patterns. Um, but yeah, so we already like built the house and now I'm starting to go in and decorate it and furnish it. And what I like to do is just kind of do like the main layout, kind of just put down everything of like what I think I would use. It doesn't mean like necessarily that I'll go with that, uh, but just kind of to make sure like everything fits <laughs> and that like I don't need to adjust any of the rooms or anything before I start really going in and furnishing and decorating it. Uh, so like you see there, I switched out the double doors for just a singular door to the little um, screened in porch area that they have. Uh, because I felt like it was just taking up too much of the walk space. And I don't even know like if it was going to like if your sims could even get into it. So I was like, I'll just do a singular door that way. Like I know for sure your sims can get into there. Um, this house is play tested and it does work. Everything works. Um, and yeah, I made sure that everything that your sims can actually move and walk around and like not just stand there and like ask for help and then you go deleting everything in the house because it doesn't work i've had that happen to me way too many times when i've downloaded homes and i'm just like oh man <laughs> this is gonna be fun uh, but yeah so there is a little office area a very very small office area uh but i mean it's functional it just you need a desk and a computer and you're golden so that's what is right there and then the the teen boy bedroom is down on the floor and does have an it has an ensuite bathroom which like I mean like if I was a teenager and I had like an ensuite bathroom that would have been like amazing <laughs> like honestly like I always had to share a bathroom with my four brothers and yeah it's not fun in the morning and <laughs> trying to get ready for school and everything um so yeah I, if I lived in this house as a teenager when I was younger I totally would have loved to have uh, that bedroom uh, so yeah, so that bedroom is on the main floor and then the rest of the bedrooms are upstairs. Um, so yeah, I mean, the master bedroom had like a really weird floor plan, which by the way, like I was following an already made floor plan because uh, that's just kind of how I find is the easiest to build. I'm not, I'm not like that talented. I can just go and like freestyle it. Uh, maybe someday. I'm just not there yet. Uh, but yeah, so like the master bedroom had like this really weird like nook area, which normally I would go and make that like a office and everything. And I ended up making it uh, like a little mini nursery, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're working on the outside and Nick actually was sitting next to me when I was like building this. Um, and he was like, why don't you put like little market lights um, under like the awning and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Like I would, I wasn't even thinking about it at that point, but I was like, that's a good idea. So I went in and just did it right then and there. Um, but they're really cute. They are store content. Um, and that is one thing that is in the house is that there is some store content or probably about a handful amount of store content throughout the house, especially since I didn't have any custom content. Yeah, I definitely was using some store content. Um, and I'm not exactly sure, like I'd have to go through and list all the store content, but basically like when you download, download this house, if it's not in your game, then it will just replace it with other objects and you guys can go in and just kind of make it, you know, make it detailed for what you want or what you need and, you know, make it for yourself, make it unique for you. But, um, but yeah, so I started with flooring. I did like my favorite, favorite, oh my gosh, guys, I cannot talk my favorite flooring. Um, and then the tiles. Okay. So the tiles in the bathroom where it's like that mixture of the grays and whites and stuff. I have like never used that for tile before. I'm pretty sure it's a pattern and it's like a, the tiled patterns and I've never used it before. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Like I love this tile. And so now I'm probably going to end up using it in like every freaking house that I make recently or may will make. I don't know. I don't even know like how much building and decorating I'm going to be <laughs> doing because, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Or at least I don't. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just really love like, I don't know. I really just try to step out of my comfort zone and make this really just, you know, unique and different. And I mean, it's not like super crazy out there. It's a little bit more on the traditional side, I actually would say. Uh, it's not super modern. It does have a little bit of like a cottage vibe to it. Um, and it is right there. If you guys have seen a little bit what I've been building, it is like right on um, a lake. And I'm actually building this in the world Cape Garner Islands, which I will link down in the description for you guys, of course. Um, but it is a custom content world that is like literally so beautiful <laughs> oh my goodness i mean it's not a custom content world it's a custom world and i actually think it doesn't have any custom content in it i'm pretty sure 
Um, and I've actually never played in it, but it's been sitting in my game for the longest time. And I was like, you know what? I need to build in this world. I need to just go in and build, and then maybe I'll be inspired to actually move one of my Sims there or something. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't have any Sims plans to go there yet, but maybe someday. Um, but I don't know. Like, I just, I love the little lakeside view that they have, and I did leave, like, their um, fencing. I didn't complete it. That way, it wouldn't, like, block their view to be able to see the lake. I wanted that to be, like, a big factor in, you know, if someone bought this house, they'd want that lakeside view, of course. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then the, okay, so the living room, <laughs> it turned out a little smaller than what I wanted. And I probably could have extended it out a little bit um, to, you know, fix that. But I don't know. I mean, I felt like this family was going to be maybe a little bit more active. They're more into, you know, outdoor kind of stuff and being outside and uh, maybe not even really home. Maybe they're out boating on the lake a lot or something like that. Um, so I felt like, you know, it, it's justified that this living room is smaller because they're not going to be, you know, just sitting around the TV all day. They're, the family that I envisioned for this house probably wouldn't be doing that as much. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and also I love like these little shelves that I did um, between the bookcases. I don't think your sim can get to the bookcases, um, but I do have another bookcase that was in the living room. So your sims will be able to access books in there. Uh, if need be, but yeah, so I was like, um, but I just really like the little background of the books and then the desk up next to it. And then I put like a little fish, like I said, I feel like this family is a little bit more, um, outdoorsy and a little, maybe a little bit more athletic ish. I don't know. Definitely just very family oriented and very like they like being outside and you know, just spending time together outside. Um, and so there's a lot of like nature elements that I did put within the house. Uh, that I really like love like the little uh, toddler baby nursery area that's in the master bedroom I did kind of in a uh, nature theme uh, Which I felt like I said was very gender neutral that way, you know, you can <laughs> have a boy or a girl in there um, But yeah, and then there is like this little patio area, which I thought was really cool to like drop down from the um, From the deck there's like this little patio area so they can grill on the patio or on the deck they can grill on there and then go down to the patio and eat and all that good stuff um so yeah I don't know I just really love it I did add in from I'm pretty sure this is from generations it's the little tree house I like love having that for my sims for the little, the little kids and stuff I feel like they use it all the time it like gets their fun up so quick so that like they can play for a bit after school and then do their homework and they can even sleep in it and stuff. And I love for them to have like sleepovers and then they all like hang out in the clubhouse. I don't know. It's just like super adorable. And it's like one of my, you know, top favorite things from generations. Uh, it's just super cute. And <laughs> so I was like, this definitely has to be within this house. Like we have to have it. Uh, and then I did go in and kind of do a little bit of like terrain, um, I don't know leveling I guess I just added a little bit of like texture so it wasn't just like a flat lot but like now looking back I feel like I definitely could have added more um and that's something I want to kind of like start um doing more of within my like builds and stuff is just kind of doing a little bit more cool terrain um heights and stuff like that because I really honestly like never do that like I just build on a flat lot and I like <laughs> hope for the best I'm like okay this is good like awesome but yeah, I think that's definitely something I want to start working on. And also, I love, love, love the little white picket fence in the front. Oh, so freaking cute. I love a good, like, white picket fence. <laughs> it's, like, one of my favorite things to put in my Sims houses. I don't know why. Yeah, I've been doing that since The Sims 1, basically, and I just, like, love it. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like such a cute, like, little cozy home, and I don't know. I just love it. Um, but yeah, and also I put out like a little sprinkler for them. I never have my kids or my Sims just in general play with the sprinkler, um, which I think it came with seasons, I think. Um, and so I'm like, I gotta put that in cause it's just too freaking cute. Uh, so yeah, as you guys can see, like there's just a lot of stuff for them to be able to do outside. And I mean, there's quite a bit of stuff for them to do inside, of course. Um, and like, there's like the screened in porch. Oh my gosh. I love the screened in porch so much. Um, it took me forever to decide on the windows and I ended up going with these just basic 
base game ones that like just bring in all the light and it's just so beautiful and I did like this little um, indoor potted plants so that they can garden inside you know even if it's winter uh, just a few plants I don't see them being like huge gardeners you definitely could remove like the tree house or something or the teeter-totter and put in a garden if you if your sims need that of course um, but I felt like the family that I'm picturing not that I have a family in mind specifically but the family that I was kind of building this for um, I felt like I don't know they would garden maybe a little bit they would you know dabble in the gardening just a little bit um, but yeah, so I really like how like it's like just a little sitting area where they can chat and talk with friends or uh, Just go and sit in the morning or something like that um, And then like I said, this is the teen uh, Boy bedroom and I made him kind of more like music oriented He's gonna be going off to college soon So there's a few college posters of the university that he's been accepted into and uh, Just like some music stuff guitars. Maybe he's going on a you know a music scholarship or something like that I don't know basically guys I just created like a whole freaking family <laughs> like a whole backstory and stuff for this family that doesn't even exist in my game or anything but I don't know maybe I'll go in and make um, do like a creative sim or something if you guys would be interested in that and just do like a little family creative sim for this house I don't know maybe I think that'd be kind of fun uh, but yeah so I just kind of cluttered it up it is <laughs> it's a significantly small space but I I mean, it works. He just needs to be able to sleep. I did give him a desk. I did give him a dresser and he has his ensuite bathroom. So I think he is pretty much set. Um, yeah, so I didn't make him too like super edgy edgy. It's more just like he's really into music. Maybe he's more into older music. That's why he has like a record player. Um, he has like a little bit more of a vintage guitar as well. So maybe he's a little bit more into the vintage kind of rock scene. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and like I said, like this is so easy to use for a girl, maybe more of like an edgy kind of music oriented girl as well. Or you guys can just completely gut it and redecorate it. Easy as that, you know? Um, but yeah, so there is a bathroom, which like I said, I wish I had as a teenager. That would have been so awesome to have like my own bathroom uh, that's like right connected to my bedroom. That would be so awesome. Um, there is a laundry room, which, I, okay, this is going to sound super lame, but like I'm excited and maybe this is just like the mom in me or something, but I'm excited that there is a laundry room on the upstairs level um, because that's where most of the laundry is going to be from, from everyone else that's, you know, living upstairs. Um, so that way your sins don't have to walk like... Uh, like gather all the stuff and then like walk up and down the stairs a million times um yeah there is like the some of the clothes downstairs of course um but I don't know like, I was like really excited I was like I don't think my sims have ever had like a upstairs uh laundry room before and so I was really excited about that <laughs> um and it's very tiny like it is not big at all but like I said like it serves the purpose and that's the thing is like this house is not huge like it's definitely not you know a mansion or anything like that um, I feel like it's just like the right perfect size for a good sized family. You know, you have enough room for quite a few Sims, a pretty, you know, big household and stuff, uh, without it being like a huge, huge, like family house that's like on a huge lot. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, so now we are in to the, the double girls, uh, bedroom and oh my gosh, this is such a cute like little area. They have that, um, those three windows or two windows, I think, uh, that look out into the front yard and stuff. And that's what has the like angular roof, uh, on it. Um, and I kind of, like I said, I gave them a little bit of like, not a backstory, but a little bit of personality. So the girl on the left, um, she's maybe a little bit older and she's really into movies. So she has like, uh, like an Audrey Hepburn picture and, uh, like a movie or a singer poster or something like that. So maybe she's more into like celebrities or movies or, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then the other girl, I kind of picture maybe a little bit younger. She loves animals. And so she has like a unicorn poster and the bunny poster. And she's like obsessed with animals and finding unicorns and like all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, this is kind of like the little personalities I gave these, you know, non-existent Sims. <laughs> and of course you guys can go in and change it up for however, you know, you need it to be, make it work for whatever family you're putting in here. Uh, here's the super exciting laundry room that's on the second floor like what's up um, and then just of course like a little shelf with some you know random cleaning supplies and laundry detergent and towels and stuff like that 
very simple, but I mean, it serves the purpose. <laughs> it serves the purpose. Um, and so now we're moving into the master bedroom, which like I said, is honestly so dang cool. Like, so they have this like little walk-in closet. I mean, it's not even little, it's a decently good size walk-in closet. Of course, walk-in closets in the Sims doesn't really, you know, matter. It doesn't, you know, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't really make anything much better. It just looks cool, you know, personally to me. Um, but they, they do have the dresser there so you guys can easily get your Sims dressed and changed or whatever, or just, you know, have a walk-in closet say they have a walk-in closet. It works. Uh, and then over here is where the master, um, bedroom part is, you know, the actual master bedroom part. Um, and it is, it's small. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's pretty small, but it serves the purpose just like everything else in this house. Um, and I mean, they just need a place to sleep. That's all that matters. They do have like a little sitting area. And, um, I don't know. I basically was just putting in filler. <laughs> I was like, I have no clue what to put in this area. I did put like a pet bed because earlier I had put a, um, like a little food bowl and stuff down in the kitchen. So I would assume that they have a pet and then there is a dog house that I do eventually put out in the backyard. So maybe it's a smaller dog or maybe you have a dog and a cat. Uh, I definitely think there's probably enough room for you guys to have like two pets within this house. Um, so that's also good too. So your little families can have pets as well. And then this is a little baby toddler, uh, nook area, which honestly, it actually takes up more room <laughs> within the master bedroom than the actual master bedroom part. Um, but you know what? It's all good. And there is the diaper changing table, which is from store, um, Sims 3 store. So you guys would have to have that custom content or store content to be able to have that in your game. Or maybe you do have custom content changing tables you guys can put there if you don't have, you know, the regular one, whatever. Um, it works there. And then there is, um, of course a crib and a rocking chair, which I felt like was a good little piece to add into there so they can sit there and rock the babies. And I don't know. I love that like little interaction that came with that. So love it. Um, and then, like I said, here's the, <laughs> the little, um, sitting area and then I do go in and add like a pet bed and stuff off camera because I did go through when I was decorating or recoloring everything I did fine-tune some details and add some decorating stuff or change some stuff up or if I didn't feel like it worked as well I did go and change some stuff up but um yeah so I don't know I just really like I just love this house um and I went through I feel like so many emotions with it I was really excited to build it for you guys and to you know make this for you guys and surprise you guys with this. Like, honestly, I haven't told anyone this. Um, so it was just, I wanted it to be a fun surprise for you guys. Um, but yeah, so once, um, this is done being built, then we will jump in and I'm actually going to do a walkthrough of the house. Um, I felt like pictures were a little too difficult to take within the house. And so I felt like walking through it with you guys would be a lot better. So we'll, we'll be jumping into that in a second here, but I'm just finishing up in the bathroom, finishing up some small details, um, and yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just really love how this house turned out. It is so freaking adorable. Um, and it's just like the perfect little family home that just, it works. It just works. Um, so yeah, so there's a dog house. So you guys can have, you know, a bigger dog maybe that sleeps outside and then maybe like a cat or a smaller dog inside that sleeps in the master bedroom <laughs> with everyone else. Um, but yeah, so let's hop on into the house and I'll show you guys a little walkthrough of it. Okay, so here we are at the very front of the house. Like I said, like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit more unique of a home than I've done in the past. Uh, and so, I don't know. I just really, really love it. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is the outside. Okay, so if we start at the front here. And we do have a cute little yellow mailbox, which I actually remember to recolor. I almost always forget. Uh, but not this time. <laughs> I actually remembered. I um, mean, a common kind of color and theme you'll see throughout the house is yellow. I don't know. I just felt like you know, yellow fits within this house. Uh, so there's not in every room, but a good amount of the rooms there is definitely yellow. We got a little porch area. And you come in through here, through the front door. And here you are in like the little hallway, I guess you could call it. Uh, and then to your left is the uh, teen room. And then to the right is the office, uh, which the office looks super cute and cozy from like this angle. I really love it. I really do. Uh, we'll hop into here first. It is very 
dark. Like, that was, like, the big thing. Is like, I wanted the teenager room to be dark and moody and, like, I don't know, just have <laughs> have a teen vibe to it. Uh, they do have a little lava lamp, which I've never put in my Sims houses. Like, I've never used the lava lamp. And, I don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with it now that I'm, like, I want to put one in, like, all my little teen rooms or something. Uh, and then here is the ensuite bathroom. He put up like his own little posters to kind of, you know, decorate it up himself a bit. Um, because he would have like his mom decorate it how she wants it. So it's very, you know, a little bit more neutral, a kind of a blank space for him to kind of just do whatever he wants to do. Um, and then he has like a towel like hanging up. It's not even like folded or anything like that. I don't know. It's just very, you know, teen, teen style, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then you come into like the main area and there are stairs here and then the kitchen, which the kitchen is on like a little bit of the smaller side, uh, but I mean, it works for what they need uh, and I think it's super cute. I'm honestly in love with it. I really am. Um, and then the little dining area, which does fit the whole family. So that's important. And I do have a high chair, of course. Uh, and then I do love like the little brick pattern that I did put throughout the house a bit. I really love 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 that a lot um and then over here is the family area uh yeah so here's like the little bookshelf that you can use um so that your sims can actually read the books that they need to read <laughs> um and then there's like a little toy area for the kids to play while the parents are watching tv or um maybe the teenager is having to babysit um and of course they'd be at the tv <laughs> um and then there is a powder bathroom uh, and just, yeah, very simple, nothing crazy in here whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so then you have the little, little sofas and stuff, um, which I think did come with the store, uh, Sims 3 store. So you guys would have to have that from there. Um, and then this, oh, look how freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. I freaking love it so much. Um, this is the screened in porch. Um, and it is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Like I really do. Like I love it. And look at that. You got like a perfect view to the lake and everything. Um, and some little, uh, potted or not potted plants, but plants, planters for you to, to be able to plant in. Oh my gosh. If I could speak guys, if I could actually speak, um, this way is the garage, which <laughs> I kept pretty simple. Sometimes I will go in and like add tools or add like a little workbench, but honestly, like I kept it simple this time. There is a little bit of space right here that you could decorate it some more if you wanted. Um, but yeah, there's just a car in here. Nothing crazy at all. <laughs> kept it very simple. I will head out to the backyard to the little deck. Uh, you got a telescope so you can, you know, look at the night sky. There's a little grilling area and there is a little spot for, um, the toddlers and kids to play uh, maybe while their parents are grilling and then over here you have the patio and uh, the little lawn chairs to sit down um, and then there's also a little dog house uh, and then here is the little kid area like I said I kept it a little bit more simple I didn't want to go too crazy and the lot that I did build this house on is not huge at all so a, there's quite a bit of limited space, but like it's super cool. I mean, my graphics kind of low right now for distance, but there's like a little fire pit and stuff and like they could easily own a boat and put it in the garage or something, get rid of one of the cars, put a, a boat in there and then go boating. Like they're so close to the lake. Like, I don't know. I just love it. It is so cool. So then we go upstairs and I mean, it's very small in the little hallway part, but there's only two bedrooms. So it's not, you know, too big of a deal. Um, there is the little laundry room. I love it so much. <laughs> I don't know. I just love that. It's like on a second floor. And uh, over here is the little girl's bedroom. Um, and as you can see, it is super colorful. Like I said, I wanted it to be bright and fun and cheery and just very girly. Um, we have like this generations desk that has the little flower, um, kind of stickers, I guess you could call them. I don't know. Maybe they're painted on. I'm not sure. Um, and I don't know. It's just super cute. And uh, they have, you know, the two different beds with the two different patterns, which I did like coordinating colors, but like mixed it up a bit. So there's like this one and then whoops. And then this one. Um, and I love the little color scheme of the pink and peach and purple. 
I love it. <laughs> and they have like, like such like good light in here, even though these are, oh no, they have like, they have windows over here. I was like, they only have these windows and then like I turn, um, but they have like just good light in here. I don't know. It's just so freaking cute. I just love it. And they have a little mirror for dress up and stuff, of course. And then, um, a little baker's oven and a little, uh, I don't know, what's that called? Easy bake oven, um, and a little, uh, dollhouse. And then they do have their own bathroom, which I, I think, I don't know if I mentioned that in the uh, voiceover, but yeah, everyone basically has their own like ensuite bathroom, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and of course it has a little bit of girly accents in it. Here is the master bedroom. Um, a little simple kind of mirror and stuff when you walk in in the hamper. Um, and then over here is the little nook area, which I said, I went with more of a nature theme, but tried to keep it, you know, gender neutral. Uh, that way, you know, it can be used for boys or girls. It has green and then those sheets have like little uh, tree trunks on it and like little aspen tree, tree trunks. Uh, I thought that was cute. Um, and then yeah, I love the French doors into the walk-in closet. Like I'm kind of really living for it, <laughs> like a lot. Uh, it's super cute. Uh, so you have a dresser and a mirror, a yellow mirror, of course. Um, and then just like some closet space and stuff and uh, you can easily put some stuff up here on the shelves that'd be really cute some like maybe um i don't know custom content there's some cute like custom content clutter of like shoe boxes and stuff i don't actually have in my game but it'd be really cute um and here is the bathroom and this corner is a little dark because of the lighting um but at night it's like lit up so i don't know um but yeah they do have like a dual vanity kind of thing i don't know it's just you know very simple it's just a place for your sims to be able to go and you know to go <laughs> and then over here over here is the actual master bedroom part um just the bed and um a little sitting area with a little pet area as well um this honestly was so hard for me to decorate i don't know why i just i don't know i do i 100 percent love how it turned out no um but i feel like it turned out pretty cute they do have like this little um brick wall which is the same brick from downstairs with the columns right here to kind of separate the area which i thought was pretty cool um, and they do have like a pretty great view. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I just, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be creating videos again for you. And I'm ready. I'm excited and I'm ready. Yeah, so also if there's any certain uh, videos or uh, series that you guys would like me to bring back to the channel, uh, comment down below. Let me know what that is. Uh, it could be my Generations and Pets LP. It could be um, maybe a Berry Tart Legacy or my Let's Renovate Sunset Valley series. Or if there's any other LPs or series that you guys would like to see on my channel, also comment those down below. Of course, I would love to hear you guys' suggestions and what you guys are interested in seeing. I am going to be resuming uh, live streams and everything again. Um, and I'm not exactly for sure when, but make sure to go follow me on Twitch so you guys can be notified for when I do go live. I do also have a Twitter uh, where I uh, am on almost all the time. <laughs> so you guys can go and talk to me there as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure to click that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.